Hello, my name's Pamela Butchart and I'm delighted that my book, Never Tickle a Tiger, has been shortlisted for the Scottish Children's Book Awards 2016. The words are by me and the beautiful illustrations are by Mark Butevon. This story is about a little girl called Izzy who likes to fidget and that gets her into a lot of trouble one day when she visits the zoo. Izzy was forever shuffling and jiggling, squirming and twitching, wriggling and fiddling. She just couldn't help it. It happened at home. Izzy, stop playing with your peas, said Dad. At school. Izzy, stop painting your pigtail, said Miss Potterhurst. At Grandma's. Izzy, stop knotting my knitting, said Grandma. And as for parties, well... Izzy! Stop jiggling the jelly, cried everyone. No matter how hard she tried, Izzy just couldn't keep still. It's no good, she sighed. I'm just a jiggler and that's that. So, when one day, Class 4B went on a trip to the zoo, it came as no surprise to anyone that Izzy was wriggling, jiggling, shuffling and fiddling as soon as they walked through the school gates. Stop stroking the snakes, called Miss Potterhurst. Don't excite the elephants. Forget about bothering the bears. Don't mess with the monkeys. Izzy, stop tapping the tortoises. Stop poking the peacock. And never, ever tickle a tiger. At lunchtime, Izzy sat shuffling her sandwiches. It's so unfair, she said. I'm never allowed to do anything. And what's wrong with fidgeting anyway? Little did Izzy know she was about to find out. Whilst all the other children finished their lunch, Izzy fidgeted her feet bounced across the bench, shimmied onto the floor, wriggled under a bush, skipped past the aviary and danced along a path all the way to the tiger enclosure. I wonder, thought Izzy, and with that she reached out a feather and she tickle tickle tickled the tiger. <gasps> Roar! roared the tiger. He threw his furry paws in the air, which broke a branch, which startled a snake, who bit a bear, who walloped a walrus, who splashed a sloth, who punched a penguin, who kicked a croc, who snapped at a skunk, who ponged a panda, who rammed a rhino, who hit the hippo, who wibbled and wobbled and... Splash! The lion roared, the parrot squawked, the snakes hissed and the elephants trumpeted loudly. Miss Potterhurst squealed and the children giggled and the zookeeper came running. It was pandemonium and it was all Izzy's fault. But then... Stop! shouted Izzy at the top of her voice. Stop squealing, squawking, splashing and flapping. Enough running, roaming, ramming and bumping. No more jiggling, wriggling, shuffling or squirming. And guess what? It worked. The zookeeper stopped running, Miss Potterhurst stopped squealing, the children stopped giggling and all the animals went back to their homes. As for Izzy, you were right all along, Miss Potterhurst, she said. I'll never ever tickle a tiger again. But what can be the harm of prodding a polar bear, she thought. 
In the book, Izzy sees lots of exciting animals when she goes to the zoo, but you don't have to go to the zoo to see lots of exciting animals. You can go to your local park. You might not see a tiger, but you'll definitely see some cool birds or a squirrel or maybe even a grumpy faced dog. And you can write stories or you can draw pictures on your whiteboard about the animals that you see. And if you're very, 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 very lucky, you might even see my cats, Carlos and Bear. Meow, meow. <laughs>